Good morning, it's Chili Cube going over a previous pour that was absolutely gorgeous and something um, after I'd left it to dry, something big, it could have even been a mouse, I'm not sure. Um, husband said it could have even been a snake with the track it left. It had gone through the middle of my piece and just completely um, wiped out the kind of composition that it was. So it was drying uh, and I'm just going back in now and doing a crazy, um, trying to retrieve it, a completely different piece, but um, I'm going in there and giving it a go. So let's hope from a, a little accident, a little gem um, actually becomes of this. So what I'm doing is actually just using the leftover paint from this particular pour that first colour was the uh, what, uh, wicker uh, yellow um, and then there was the cool red and that is more turquoise. So I'm just using up what I've got left and I'm just going for it and see if I can, um, you know, make anything good of the uh, little accident. Um, and that's just white so I'm just pouring it all in there doing my crazy wiggles pour all over the canvas but as you know when I do these particular pours you, you've got to tilt all your paint over the canvas equally and always recenter your paint um, before you do any more to it so that's what I'm doing here and let's let's fingers crossed I can actually make something nice happen So my next little idea was to put that, um, it's my Berry Delicious, it's the very dark purple with Floetrol in the paint um, and I'm going to swipe down the center of this particular piece. So I'm just trying here to just coax the last of my paint out of that container to be able to hopefully hopefully create something um, really gorgeous out of this mess that looks here. As you can see getting an absolute wonderful effect it is just like little gemstones in the most gorgeous colors and the most beautifully well shaped cells in there I will be bringing you down for a close-up in a second or two but as you can see it's just a brilliant reflection swipe um, and very very happy with that that I actually did get something beautiful out of that craziness so I'll bring you down now and show you this lovely effect wow wasn't that a happy accident just look at these gorgeous gorgeous effects in here of multicolored gems they're just beautiful gorgeous shaped cells in there such a wonderful wonderful effect from that swipe oh, very very pretty it is just sparkling 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 so 
what I have for the next stage is I'm gonna do a dry chain pull through one section of that just to try something that I've got in mind if it doesn't work then this whole painting was doomed because it um, as the previous porous was damaged and I had to do something with it rather than just scrape it all so I'll give it a try give it a try now you could absolutely leave this as it is um, you could do some balloon kisses and rolls in it which is oh would look absolutely stunning because of those colors that it would bring all up to the surface but I'm just gonna try a dry chain pull meaning that I'm going to keep my chain or bead dry I'm not going to dip it in paint I'm going to I'm going to just try it in one corner hey oh you know like I said if it spoils it then so be it it was doomed to not work but I'm just going to try this chain pull so pop the dry chain in hold in there just seeing what lovely effects the chain can bring up in it. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, I'm kind of not wanting to do much, but you know, I've got a feeling that it'd actually try and do something right down the center of that particular. Oh, let's find me chains. Where's my chains? Unchain my heart. Uh, I've got another one here. Let's give this a go, hey? Let's, let's, let's. <laughs> oh, I don't know if this is gonna work. Let's see what doing a chain pull all the way down that, that center block of color would create. I don't think I've done this one before. Oh, I'm going wiggledy piggledy here. Ah, oh, and I've got it trapped around my thumb. I'm going to hold it there and just pull. Come on, you beauty, turn out something nice. Ooh, don't know about that either. It's kind of took out the center line and give it sort of a different whole different effect than what I would normally get from it so I guess like just adding a little bit of my balloon wouldn't hurt it at all why not why not I say do some nice little effects with my balloon kissing effects maybe I won't touch this just in the the dark area to bring the colors back through just giving it like a so it's actually <laughs> reminds me of um, Jack and the Beanstalk the Beanstalk going all the way up into the heavens <laughs> but it's just probably my crazy interpretation of it but oh goodness that's got some gorgeous things happening in it, that has. Just little baby teeny ones. Oh, it just makes them look like they're star bursting out. Just a few won't hurt anyone. And the thing is, they're enjoyable to do. So art therapy, there you go, art therapy. Look at that. The effects that they can give in here, just beautiful. I love it. I'd say if you enjoy doing it, go for it. I'm gonna leave it right there <laughs> before I do. I've probably done way too much, but it was fun, it's colorful. It's cheery and, you know, to me, that's that's all part of it, the art therapy. You achieve when you give it a go like that. That's fun. Have a look at the dry photos. Let's hope that it dries just as beautiful as it looks now.
Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me. Until tomorrow, hopefully something different then. Bye for now.